All right. Uh, you know, first of all, just give Notre Dame a lot of credit. You know, they got a really good football team. Um, we knew that coming in. And, you know, I so obviously want to tip my hat to those guys. They, they're a good looking team. And they got a several older guys, you know, a lot of seniors on that team that play. They're very experienced. And, um, you know, so give them a lot of credit. Um, you know, as far as our guys, I'm extremely proud of the way our guys played. Um, you know, the fight, the energy they had. Uh, was awesome to see. Um, you know, the one thing coming to this game that we didn't know about was when we faced adversity, how these guys are going to re react to it, and they did a great job. Um, so those are things we can build off of. Um, you know, shoot, that's one of the best D-lines in the country right there, and I thought our offensive line came out and did a great job of handling the, those guys up front in the run game. Um, you know, rush for 249 yards, um, 250 yards on a, on a really good defense. I thought that was outstanding. Our backs ran hard. Um, our H-backs, our tight ends blocked well, blocked well in the per perimeter. That is winning football right there, 250 yards rushing the game. We can do that. We'll be fine. Um, we got to get better in the passing game. Um, you know, we were concerned about their two ends in the pass rush. Those those guys are good, man. They, you know, they, they cause havoc in the backfield. So we're trying to get rid of the ball fast. Um, you know, and then they covered, did a good job outside covering up some of our guys. But we'll get better from that. We'll grow from that. Really proud of our defense. You know, you, other than the one drive they had when they got picked up, I think, three first downs on third down, our third down defense was great. We got off the field on third down, fourth down. Um, really did a great job with that. Um, uh, you know, so I'm proud of our defense. They ran to the football. And, you know, we did a good job of not giving up big plays. I think the bigger plays they had was really Q scrambles, quarterback scrambles. He did a, books a good job. He does a good job with that. Um, you know, but, but overall, I told our football team, we're not into moral victories. We're, into, we're, into, we're trying to win football games. And, you know, we wanted to win bad tonight. And despite all the odds and all this and that, we wanted to win bad. And, you know, our, our kids continue to fight like that. We're going to get better every week. And so I'm, I'm proud of them for that. And, you know, the one thing we told them there at the end, you know, we do everything together as a family. Um, win, lose, whatever it may be, all together, staying tight, and that's what we're going to do. Um, we got a short week this week, so we, we got we got to get ready in a, in a hurry to get back out on the field. But when we just left the locker room, those guys are ready to go play right now. So um, I'm fired up for this, for this week. Coach, what's your evaluation of Juwan Pass, and uh, what do you think you guys need to work on with him? Well, I think uh, I think in the running game, he did a really good job. You know, we, we that puts pressures on pressure on defense when your Q can run like that, and he had a lot of big runs, a couple touchdowns there. Um, you know, we, we got to take care of the football, obviously. Um, you know, one on we got to hit kind of from behind. We got to do a better job of ball security. We, you know, we're predominantly 99% of the time catching shotgun snaps, and we fumbled one, you know, an exchange on that. Freak deal. Um, you know, but I think overall his running game was good. I think in the passing game, we obviously got to get better. We had a few drops tonight, a few errant balls tonight. You add up drops and, and some of the bad throws, now that's why the completion percentage was off. But our, our plan tonight was to, you know, try to try to get the ball down to these one-on-one -on -one matchups. It's tough. Those guys do a good job of covering. We got to get free. Um, the receivers have to make the plays. A couple of times we had some guys open and we missed the throws. We're going to get better from that. We'll watch it on film. We'll grow from that from the pass in the passing game. In terms of his uh, decision making, how happy were you with that? Decision making overall was pretty good. Um, the decision, you know, again, you go back to is are we making the right read? And I thought it was pretty good for the most part. I, I remember maybe, you know, three or four times where, you know, probably the wrong read, but, you know, you, but you can get away with that sometimes. Um, but I think overall that was good. It was good in the run, in the run game because we, we make him make decisions in the run game just about every play, really, you know, and um, with our zone read stuff. And so he did a good job with that. We'll know more, obviously, when we go back to, the, to, to look at the field. But, I, but the way he ran the football is going to give us a chance as we move forward with this. Um, and, um, you know, we just got to do a better job. You know, we got some guys on the outside that are good players, Tutu and Fitz and Seth and those guys. We got to get them, we got to get them those, those guys the ball. Cameron, I know your offense is probably not nearly where you want it to no. be. But when you looked at camp and you saw Javion, you saw Zion, and that offensive line, is this kind of what you thought you guys would be able to do against this Notre Dame because of the line? Well, I, I didn't know if you do it against Notre Dame. I thought, you know, they're pretty good, you know, watching that film. Um, this is what we had hoped for, you know. We wanted to, we wanted to establish the run. Um, and we were, you know, we were, we were in the game all the way till that right there at the end when they scored and got, you know, got two scores up. And, um, 
you know, now we can stay within our offense. You know, we can continue to run the football. You can continue with your play action. You know, once you get to three scores, you know, now you got to start opening up a little bit more. But um, I think uh, I think they did a great job with that. It's the, you know, again, it's the first game, so you don't really know until you come out here and start playing. But I, we know this. I know Hawkins and Hall, both of those guys are very capable runners. Um, they run hard, and I think you guys saw it tonight. They got open and free a um, couple of times, man. Just barely gets tripped up, and they're, they're touchdowns. And so uh, we're encouraged by the way they ran the football tonight, and uh, it'll help us as we move forward. Coach, you mentioned the effort of this team. After Notre Dame came out and pretty much easily went down on that yeah. first drive and score, was our message that you gave to your de defense? Did you say anything to them? Or, no. Or what was your thought of how they came back out and got that three? No, I mean, I think uh, – you know, a lot of times first drives or, you know, first, second drives, they do some things a little different offensively. And so it takes your defense a little bit to start saying, okay, we got to make an adjustment. And so I think our coaches did a great job making adjustments on the sideline. Now, what I was proud of is what, the way the offense answered. You know, it's a team game, you know, so you, so we're all trying to play off of each other. And they went down and scored, and then our offense came right back, right down the field and scored. I thought that was a great answer. That gave us confidence. I think, you know, when you're playing a game like this with, uh, you know, playing a team that's, that's you know, really good football team, you want to be able to answer. You want to have some positivity to, ha to happen to your guys. And so we went and scored. That inspires the defense also. They go right back out and, they, you know, start playing better. Um, you know, I, I think um, we played off of, we played well off of each other. I think, but, the you know, the big play first half, was a turnover right before halftime. You know, we fumbled the ball, and really, I guess it was three fumbles in a row. Wasn't it? I don't know if I've never seen that, you know, three fumbles in a row. But um, And then they end up scoring. That was unfortunate there because I thought our defense played really, really well in the second quarter. Coach, you talked about Notre Dame's defensive line. What did you learn about your offensive line and how they played against that type of pass rush? Yeah, man, I'm fired up for those guys up front. I'm telling you that. Because that is, that is a really good defensive line. And the way our guys, you know, that was a big question mark coming in. You know, quite honestly, our line, we, everybody knew that. Um, I think we end up playing six guys up front tonight. And, um, but they handled their hand, they held their own. Um, you know, I think these, it'll give those guys confidence to know that, hey, you know, and I'm going to tell you, Notre Dame was stacking the box. I mean, that number 11, that, that's a good football player. He's rolling down there. And there was a few times they got us in the backfield. But um, a lot of times our guys created those holes and our backs hit them. So I'm, I'm encouraged by that. I think we will build off of it and continue to grow to help help our running game. And then also grow in the passing game. This first game, I think there's a big jump when you first game and the second game. I think you're, you learn a lot about your football team as you move to the second game. Coach, you mentioned that they kind of wanted to fill the box. You guys seem to have – that's kind of hitting the edge. Yeah. The off the line or combination of them and speed? I think it's both. I think what they tried to do first and second down was to, to bring their safety and their linebacker up the middle to stop that inside run. And we, you know, our game, part of our game plan was to, to run on the outside and the edge. Part of that was Puma, you know, taking off on the edges. And then part of that was our stretch play. And that's going to be a staple in our offense. We run inside and outside zone. So the stretch play is a staple in our offense. And um, that's part of what we'll do all year. You know, that's just, that's what we're going to do. And then off of that, you have to be able to complete the passes. And that, that's where we got to get a lot better off of some of those misdirections, as you see, where the quarterback's waggling, you know, coming around the end on a naked. You know, we, we missed some balls. We dropped some balls on those plays. We got to keep the, st the sticks in, in check. If you guys go back, if we go back and look at this, when we had penalties and we got off the, st the sticks, that's when we struggled offensively. Um, and part of that is not making big plays in, in the passing game. You said you're not in a moral victory, but considering what these guys went through last year and how bad the end of the season was, do you view this as a step forward? I'm proud of our guys. I'm extremely proud of them and the way they fought. So, you know, but I, we want to win. They want to win, you know. I mean, we, we play this game. Everything that we do all in the all season, winter program, spring ball, all summer long, we hold these guys accountable to each other. And that's what they want. They yearn for that when I got here. I mean, and so they've done a great job doing that. You do all that right there to win. So we can come in here and sing and celebrate and, and you know, high five and, and with each other. So that's why we're doing all this work. So, but I'm extremely proud of the way they played, the way they fought, um, you know, and we'll get better. I mean, you know, and, and then we'll win these games, you know. And so, um, no, I think we're going to take some, a lot of things positive out of, the, out of this game, even though we did lose. Coach, what was it like for you to get prepared for this first game from the card march, stadium record, yeah. and just being a part of it? It was phenomenal. I mean, I, you know, God, it was unbelievable. You know, starting with the card march, um, I've never seen anything like that, you know. Um, and, and the fans, the, the support of the fans that we've had really since the, the whole time that we've gotten here, our staff, 
and our team and our players, we've, we have felt the support. Our players have felt it, and that's really what, it, what matters. It's not about the coaches. It's really about these kids. They felt the support of the fans. And then tonight was unbelievable. I mean, that was incredible atmosphere. Um, I guess it probably don't get any better than that right there unless you're in the national championship game. I mean, it was incredible. You know, we had all the, the, the makings of that. And, um, you know, we fed off of that crowd tonight. I'm telling you, it was awesome um, throughout the whole game. And, you know, we got to have it. We got to have that continue. Um, we got to have the fans to come out Saturday. I know it's a five day turnaround, but our kids deserve it. They, they deserve these, these fans to come back out and watch them play. Because I promise you this our kids are going to fight their tails off and they're going to work hard to get better so that when we get on the football field, that we'll win these games. And these, all everybody can celebrate these fans and our players. Pat and Cameron, that's it. Uh, you guys had five fumbles tonight. Uh, just kind of like a general question. Was that, had that been an issue in practice at all? in terms of fumbles, which is just kind of a, a freak thing. Well, no, it hadn't. You know, well, how many did Puma have? Three or I don't even know, but three. three. Yeah. Um, you know, so Puma, yeah, he, that ball handling with him has been great all camp. I mean, I, I can't even remember him having a fumble, really, quite honestly. Um, you know, I mean, one of them's a snap. I, I've That's hard, you know, to fathom that, you know, because that's, that's all we do in practice. So, um, you know, that, that is just unfortunate. We'll work on ball security, obviously, as we head forward, as we move forward. Um, you know, we, we talk about the turnover margin. We have to win that. Tonight we didn't. And, um, you know, that, that's probably the difference in the outcome of the game, quite honestly. You know, if you don't fumble right there at the half and they score those, those seven, then it's a ball game. And, and now you're working the second half. It's completely different the way you call the game, both sides. So um, we got to do a lot better job at that. And, um, you know, we'll work on that and we'll get better. Last one. I know you guys have mentioned during camp of running back by committee. Yeah. Um, it was really just Hawkins and Hall today. Is that how you see it going forward, barring any kind of injury? Well, I think both of those guys were playing well tonight, and um, they were fresh. And so, um, you know, and, and the game was in, you know, we, it was a tight game. You know, and so we want to, you know, if those if they're fresh, that's who we'll play. Um, you know, as we move forward, I feel good about the other guys. I feel good about, you know, we got probably four or five guys that I feel good about that can go out there and play. Um, those guys were feeling good. They were in the rhythm. You know, why change up, right? I mean, it, you know, if you look at what they did, they did a great job. Uh, Hawkins averaged 6.4 yards a carry. Hall averaged 6.3. That's that's phenomenal. We'll we'll continue to do that with those guys. And um, you know, but yeah, if, if we if we need to, we'll play some more backs. And that, that that really goes for any position if they're ready to play you know and um, you know so we'll see how that moves forward but I really appreciate um, you know just the way the guys did I'm proud of our staff I'm proud of everybody in this building and uh, we'll get better we'll get better all right, coach. thank y'all thank you <clears throat>